We need that. Two acres for the yard money. Diversified portfolios and bond money. Pull a few strings that guitar money. Try to run up on me. Nah, money. Getting at it from the AM to the PM. Smooth fat boy, that's a door by your BM. They love it when they see him. We still in the hood, but we on top like the alternators in the GM. You feeling this? Welcome to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big shout out to the sponsors of the channel, my boy Fast Classic and my boy Matt. All the information is in the description box. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. That's B O X W I T G5 Jeff TV. Big shout out to my boy Box First Blog. Definitely check his channel out. And a big shout out to my boy Shane, who plays a big part on this channel. Now, Terrence Bud Crawford did an interview with ESPN Deportes, I think. Um, big shout out to ESPN. And Terrence Crawford said things that we already knew. He wants Manny Pacquiao. And he also wants Keith Thurman. Now, like I said, those comments are not shocking at all. But what I'm about to say right now is not shocking. He's not getting a Manny Pacquiao fight. If it was for all the marbles, if it was for undisputed, Manny's not taking that fight. Like, I hate to break it to Terrence Bud Crawford. I hate to break it to the Manny Pacquiao fans. I feel like he will fight anybody, any place, any time. But Manny Pacquiao was not going to take a fight against Terrence Bud Crawford. It's a bad matchup for Manny Pacquiao. Second thing, Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman's not going to take that fight for several reasons. Number one, Uncle Al is not going to let him play across the street. Number two, Keith Thurman might hurt himself in the kitchen, in the living room, in the dining room, in the bathroom, going to the corner store. You don't know when Keith Thurman is going to be hurt. You don't know when he's going to be injured. You don't know when he's going to have another surgery and be out for six to nine, ten months. So even if he could get a Keith Thurman fight, who knows if he's available? Danny Garcia. Don't see that happening. Errol Spence Jr. just had the car accident. We don't know what's going on with him. Rumor going around and he's going to be at the Wilder fight. But I mean, who Who knows? Sean Porter, probably not. I said all that to say this. Do you guys think that Terrence Bud Crawford will ever get in the ring with one of the top PBC guys? And let me sh let me tell you all how far ahead of the game I am. For the people that's new to the channel or the people that's been on the channel, I have a video on the channel from a long time ago, long time ago. And I said in the title, is Terrence Bud Crawford the next Timothy Bradley? And I said that strictly because Timothy Bradley was one of the best fighters in the world when he was active. But his career felt incomplete because he wasn't able to fight none of the Al Heyman guys. And I know what y'all probably thinking. I know what y'all probably thinking. Oh, well, Tim Bradley was a free agent. He could have signed with Al Heyman. Terrence Crawford was a free agent. He could have signed with Al Heyman. See, this is where I have to educate y'all. Yes, they both could have did that. But if you look at the history of Al Heyman and 147, he has delayed fights between his own guys for a very long time. Errol Spence was calling out. Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, Manny Pacquiao, and everybody else for years. And it took for him to get a belt and to get his own momentum before he got those fights. Sean Porter didn't want to fight him. He had to force his way in the door. Danny didn't want to fight him. But the opportunity looks good now, so Danny was taking it. Keith Thurman, he still don't want to get in the ring with him. At the end of the day, if Terrence Crawford signs with Al Heyman or if Tim Bradley signed with Al Heyman, it was not a guarantee that they were going to get 
the fights that they won against Al Heyman guys. That's just the facts. Does it put them in a better position being with Al and without Al? Absolutely. But are you willing to take that risk and sign with a completely different promoter or a completely different manager than what you're used to? And another thing, Tim Bradley had guaranteed money every fight with Bob Aaron. So does Terrence Crawford. So it's not easy to give up guaranteed money. That's just what it is. But Terrence Crawford read up with top rank, so he's not going anywhere anytime soon. And it's very hard to get out of a Bob Arum top rank contract. At the end of the day, how would we look at Terrence Crawford's career if he doesn't get any of the PBC guys from 147 in the ring? Something to think about. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.